Munir Ajam with another very short videos on definition and term we use in project management that can often create some confusions. Uh, this uh, topic on this video uh, is about shareholders versus stakeholders and maybe we can also touch on the project team. The word shareholders is that basically anyone who owns share in an organization uh, or owner. So basically partners, uh, an organization that is private company that could have partners. So the partners would be shareholders or any public company with uh, that basically that sells shares through the stock market. Of course, you have shareholders that will own shares in these companies. So another word, as far as we are concerned in project management, the word shareholder refer to the owner of the organization that is developing a project. Um, okay, stakeholder, which we don't talk about much about shareholders because often on large organization, I mean, unless you are working with small organization where you know the shareholders are also involved in the management of the company, usually big corporation when they work on project, you know, you know those shareholders, most of them we never even see or know who they are. Um, that brings us to the stakeholder, which is a term we use heavily on project. And stakeholders is anyone, anyone usually who has a stake. They, they, I mean, obviously the word stake, uh, who, 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 not to hold the stake, obviously. And stake here don't mean steak that you eat for dinner or for lunch if you're not vegetarian. A stake is that uh, S-T-A-K-E. I guess most project people will know that. Uh, stakeholders are people, typically, we define them as who are involved or have an interest in the project. Now, what does it mean? Break it down further, is that a project stakeholders are the people who are involved, which is typically mean the project team. They are the one who directly involved in a project, project manager and project team. Uh, you have other uh, vendors and suppliers. And, of course, you have stakeholders other than the project team, who are affected by the project. For example, if you build a plant or a chemical plant or a refinery or a landfill uh, in, in near a residential area, obviously we will consider the resident to be stakeholders. Uh, often government agencies, permitting agencies are stakeholders. Management are stakeholders. So basically stakeholders are anyone who is involved or affected by the project or can affect your project. So these are the three groups of stakeholders. Uh, you know, in our definition, obviously, uh, many other people might have a slightly different definition. But in general, you know, uh, this is simple, that stakeholders is anyone involved or impacted or influenced or can influence a project. Um, obviously, a project stakeholder have an important role on the project. Uh, and they need to be utilized and consulted with. Now, sometimes we make the confusion of thinking of stakeholder as a customer or stakeholder as management. Obviously, management is a stakeholder. Customer is also a stakeholder, but so are you. If you are a project manager or project team member, you are a stakeholder. Also, you know, you need, you must consider, we often make a mistake in some project management is that we don't consider the non-obvious stakeholder. Now, what do we mean by an obvious stakeholder? Those that may not seem obvious, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> um, but basically, um, I guess those who don't have direct involvement um, and basically, um, I will give you a quick example, actually a good story that goes with this video. Uh, it's a long story, but I will make very short and I will zoom in only on a part. In a movie that is about, I think, called The Towering Inferno, where a tower got burned uh, and many people get killed in the movie. Uh, at the last minute of the movie, the, um, the captain for the firefighting team uh, basically look at the uh, architect of the building, and, uh, which was a high tower. And, of course, this is about a 50-year-old movie, maybe, or 40 years ago. And he told, the firefighter says to the architect, one of these days... You are going to kill a thousand people in one of these buildings if you do not ask us how to build it. Yeah? So basically here the firefighter does not only want to be consulted about uh, potentially how maybe we can put the fire down, 
but as obviously how this building should be, how these type of building, high-rise towers, should be built with a mindset, obviously from a fire perspective, in case of a fire, how can you uh, evacuate people safely and of course shut down the fire or you know distinguish a fire very quickly with limited damage at least to people's and lives. Uh, maybe property is a different story. So this is a great line from the movie. It's just the last minute. Yeah, uh, is that the uh, obviously in this case the non-obvious stakeholder is a firefighter captain because as architect and engineer sometimes we might not think about those people or consult with them uh, as we build projects uh, because maybe uh, we don't think they can add value. I think uh, over the years it have changed and uh, I would assume a lot of these concepts have been built into uh, codes for building especially with high towers and, and other type of facilities. Have a great day. Until another one.